Caleb Williams should pull a Eli Manning and demand that the Chicago Bears do not draft him number one overall. Wow. All right. So as you could hear in that opening statement, RG3 had some thoughts on <clears throat> Caleb Williams and the Bears and Eli Manning and just, I didn't think I was going to have to do an emergency podcast twice, but I wanted to hop on here and react. And if in case you were living under a rock uh, this morning and didn't hear the news uh, on what RG3 thought, it's about a full two minute video, two and a half minute video. And I want to make sure that we pop it in right here and start listening to it. Caleb Williams should pull a Eli Manning and demand that the Chicago Bears do not draft him number one overall. After everything that's happened with just Justin Fields, can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what? This is the organization that has my best interest at heart and they're going to help develop me into the player that I want to become. Caleb Williams is on record saying that he wants to be legendary. He wants to rewrite history and he wants to be the best that he can possibly be. Just and like every other quarterback. Games, he can possibly win. After the Bears took Justin Fields, the 11th pick in the draft, and turned him into a sixth round pick in the 2025 draft by trading him to the Pittsburgh Steelers? Can Caleb Williams really look at that and say, you know what? Yeah, this organization is going to help get me where I want to go. I don't think it's saying that. Eli Manning had power in that 2004 draft. And he let the Chargers know, don't draft me. I don't believe in the direction that your organization is going. And I don't want to play there. He refused to play for them. Even threatened to sit out an entire season if they drafted him. And they still drafted him. And the look on his face when he's holding up the jersey okay. said That's everything. So what happened? The Chargers <laughs> traded him to the New York Giants for Phillip Rivers. Also a 2004 third round pick. And then the first and fifth round picks in the 2005 it's NFL good return. draft. What did Eli end up doing? He won two Super Bowls for the New York Giants. Had a great career. So, for Caleb Williams, don't get me wrong, that doesn't guys. Make a lot of I sense. thought Ryan Poles was having an amazing offseason up until this trade for Justin Fields. Because you trade Justin Fields so you can get some players back to help your team out this year. Because Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus, the head Eberflus. coach for the Chicago Bears, they're in a lame duck season. They have to mm. win this year or they're going to get fired. And don't get me wrong. Hey, handing the football off to DeAndre Swift, throwing the ball to Keenan Allen and DJ Moore and Cole Komet. Those guys Good are weapons. phenomenal. Yep. This ain't anything about them. This is about Caleb Williams and what team out there gives him the best chance to be successful. Only he can deem that. Yes, I do think him going back to Washington, where he's from. He's a D.C. kid, went to Gonzaga College High School. Okay, I happen. think that's the best spot for him. But he has to answer that question. And if he says, all right, I see everything that's been going on, and now I can make the decision and say, I don't think that the Chicago Bears are the best place for me or my family to accomplish all the goals that we want to accomplish, then he needs to let that be known. He does have power right now, and he should exercise it if he feels like Chicago is not where he should be. All right, RG3. Uh, look, I love you. Love your content. Love everything that um, you have been doing. Um, but I just disagree with you on this right here. I, I do think that the Bears um, ultimately made the right decision to trade Justin Fields. I think what they got back is not very good, as you mentioned in the video. A sixth-round pick. Look, that would be such a power play by Caleb Williams to go in and be the third or really the fourth person in the last 41 years through that. John Elway uh, had the Colts draft him and then trade him. Uh, Bo Jackson did it and Eli Manning did it. Yes, he went on to win two Super Bowls, but that's a mute point right here because that's really not what we're talking about. We're talking about are the Chicago Bears one of the better teams um, to get a Caleb Williams and to actually to ha have they built around him enough? And you look at their offseason, DeAndre Swift, Keenan Allen, okay? They got Gerald Everett. You just, they've been building, okay, toward this. And they maneuvered around it last year when they went and, and traded uh, and got the two first round picks in the top nine, okay? That's amazing. That's great. You look at the Chicago Bears, they're sort of on a heater. They won five of their last eight games in 2023. That's never happened for a Chicago team since 2020. And you go back and you just look at the weapons, everything surrounding them, a brand new offensive staff. To me, this makes a lot of sense. I don't know if any other place right now is 
more ready to win. Yes, I understand that there is an issue in Chicago Bears history in terms of developing quarterbacks. There's never been a 4,000-yard passer. I get that. Caleb, why wouldn't you want to come here and be the first? You could be the different make, difference makers. And if you look, the last 10 number one overall picks at quarterbacks, it's Bryce Young, Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Kyler Murray, Baker Mayfield, Jared Goff, Jameis Winston, Andrew Luck, Cam Newton, and Sam Bradford, all the way back with the St. Louis Rams. If you look at their weapons, at the receiver position, at the tight end position, at the running back position, you could make an argument that when the Chicago Bears take Caleb Williams number one, that he has the best weapons of all of them. I appreciate it. Just your thoughts, but I just don't really agree with that. I don't agree with Caleb going back home to the commanders. I think that the Chicago Bears are a perfect place for him to make history. 